Hello and welcome again. The IB Chemistry exam for May 2021. You might be wondering if it's actually going to happen and the answer is yes, it's very likely to happen and it's already scheduled to happen on Friday the 14th of May 2021. Just about 144 days from today, the 22nd of December. On Friday the 14th of May, in the morning, HL and SL students will be sitting for paper one and paper two. But important to note that this year, in 2021, there will be no paper three because the IB has decided that due to the pressures of the COVID-19 situation, schools, teachers, students would have found it very difficult to work remotely and they have decided to remove paper three from the final assessment. What that means, of course, is it's an opportunity for students to focus more on these two papers in the remaining 144 days and to aim for excellence on the final examination. But to do this, of course, you need a plan. And that plan is what we're now going to discuss. HL students, you have 40 multiple choice questions, one hour. SL students, you have 30 multiple choice questions, 45 minutes. Each of these paper ones is going to carry a weight, a higher weight than it usually carries because there's no paper three. That weight is 30% of the final grade. SL students, you then move on to your paper two with about six or seven structured questions, problems, diagrams, various things, not a whole lot of writing though. And that's going to be scored out of 50 and it would carry a weight of 50%. HL students, you also have a number of numerical problems, diagrams, tables, graphs to, to work with and you would be scored out of 90 and your weight for your paper will be out of 50. Where's the other 20% going to come from? It's going to come from your internal assessment. And this year, just like last year, all of your internal assessment reports will be marked externally by the International Baccalaureate Organization. So it's not like your teacher is going to mark a few of them and it's going to get moderated. All of them get marked by the IB. So this is how your 100% of your grade is going to come. So what's your plan? One way to go about doing this in a very organized way is for you to target 100 multiple choice questions spread out across your 21 topics. Or if you're an SL student, to get 50 multiple choice questions spread out across your 11 topics. And over 100 days, starting from today, if you're an HL student, or every other day, if you are an SL student, every day if you are an HL student for the next 100 days, solve these multiple choice questions. Don't just check the answer off as A, B, C, or D. Solve them, make some notes, be able to explain to someone else how to solve this question. Go so far as to create another similar or related question of your own and be able to solve that also. And once you're done with this exercise, I can guarantee you that you will be in a position to perform very well on the final examination. Will you be able to score a seven? Of course, you can't expect to score a seven unless you do very well in all of your components. So you need to ensure that right now, if you're working on your IA, that you put in the best effort that you can to do a good internal assessment. And then of course, you also set some time aside to work on problems, diagrams, graphs, all of those kinds of things, because IB chemistry is not about memorizing paragraph after paragraph or bullet point after bullet point to write long essays in the exam. The longest kind of question that you can possibly get in an IB exam in terms of writing would be to explain something like, let's say the color of a transition element complex or what's the evidence for the structure of benzene. There are very few questions that require rote learning 
and extensive writing. Most of them involve numerical problems or diagrams for things like valence shell electron pair repulsion, electron domain geometry, molecular domain geometry, reaction mechanisms in organic chemistry, or reading graphs and interpreting them for trends in the periodic table. So how am I going to help you with these 100 multiple choice questions or 50 multiple choice questions or with the numerical problems? Well, I've compiled a playlist and you can click on these cards above here by turning on annotations or click on the links down below this video in the captions and you can access a playlist where I have already placed 60 multiple choice questions, a mix of HL and SL questions, and I've explained how to solve each one in great detail, going outside the question itself and discussing everything related to that question. And then I'm also going to create a test lined up with all of the questions on that playlist to share with students as the date for the examination grows closer. Of course, you can't forget about paper two. So I'm also in the process of putting together a playlist with lots of solutions to numerical problems, reaction mechanisms, and various types of questions that you get on paper two. And that too is going to be shared. Of course, in my next set of tips, I am going to talk to you about the November examination and how students performed on that. The last November, November 2020, soon as IB publishes its examiner's report, and I'm going to highlight some of the most important tips to guide students in May 2021.